Luke Maurer, St. George's School, Vancouver, British Columbia. From Red Dock by Anne Carson. Good looking boy, wasn't he? Yes. Blonde, yes. I do vaguely, you never liked him. Bit of a rebel, so you said. He's the one wore lizard pants and pearls to graduation, which at the time you admired. They were good pearls. You said he reminded you of your friend Mildred. Mildred taught me everything I know. She taught me how to entertain. You must miss her. I miss her martinis. Stub cigarette. So, what's he up to now? Just got out of the army. Wounded? Messed up. Are they giving him care? A guy shows up with a padded envelope of drugs every night. I guess it's care. He's staying with you for a while, behaving himself. Some days he sits around reading Christina Rossetti. Some days he comes out of the bathroom covered in camouflage paint. Keep him away from your herd. Did I tell you I finished Proust? Oh, yes. Seven years. Can you reach me those matches behind you? Reading it every day, thanks, was like having an extra unconscious. Well, I'm not fond of those multi-volume things. There's the part where he's comparing his Tantalioni to a water lily. She's a swimmer. No, she's a neurasthenic. Oh, I don't get it. Well, she's old, nervous, lives in a single room, trapped in her little train of habits, the pills, the pains, the spying out the window. Hmm. A water lily caught in a current, he says. It would be too late for me to appreciate Proust. On the other hand, I'm at a loss. I've read all the Len Daytons in the library. Hundreds of people visit his home every year. Some just burst into tears. Len Dayton? No, Proust. <laughs> Say, remember that time we were driving and crashed? What time? Oh, I forget where it was. I was driving, no, you were driving, I was looking out the window. All of a sudden, I thought I saw a deer racing out a driveway. So I start to just, then my brain flashes on it being a wooden lawn ornament, not a real one. Watch out for that wooden deer! I yelled so loud, you drove off the road into a guy's hedge and burst into tears. She laughs. He laughs. Speaking of tears, listen, gets out a cigarette, to that wind, storm coming, or is it the traffic, wind, I think, from the north, sounds like. So your surgery is scheduled for when? The 25th. You want me to come with you? No, dear. Well, if you change your mind, I won't change my mind. I can easily, thanks, though. Well, glances down at her crossword. I'll be fine. Well, so, time for you to go. I'll call on the weekend. Take some of those apples. They're the kind you like. 